Hey, um, did you hear about, speaking of just news during the week, did you hear about the PwC controversy? Last yes, Water I House did. Coopers, yeah. Do you know what was going on there? Did you pay any attention to it? It's sort of, yeah. I think it's about how it's essentially you got your governments of the day, they have private contracts, they contract shit out, they pay lots of money for it. And it makes their bottom line, I guess, look better because they pay contractors, right? Well, they're also making people like their mates rich, right? Is that the idea? Well, sort of, sort of. This is how I understand it. PwC was engaged by the Australian government to advise them how to structure laws to stop foreign companies evading tax. Because obviously there's a bunch of loopholes that right. they exploit. So PwC was engaged by the government. So they're tax professionals saying, okay, what are we going to do with this new batch of laws to actually make sure that we are getting the money that we deserve? So right. these so they're loopholes to can be closed. Laws. They're there to yeah, they're giving advice. Now, so there's insight and confidential information there in that there's people at PwC that know or are likely to know how the government are going to what laws are coming in. Right. Then that information is getting leaked to other PwC partners right. who are using this information and they're advising foreign companies how to structure themselves in anticipation of the new laws to come in Amazing. so that they can then continue to evade and, minim- or, and or minimise the amount of tax that they have to pay. So the same people who are advising on the changes are also telling people why well, we can sell you the service of getting around this. It is dirty, <laughs> so dirty. That's and so crazy. they've lost, the Australian government's dropped all their contracts with PwC. A few of the right. big super funds have pulled out saying that this kind of stuff is just, you know, we can't, we can't support that. It's really dirty and it's going gonna, gonna to affect PwC big time. I mean, the government wow. money's huge. It's, it's, it's pretty unethical, but I'm not surprised either, right? That makes so much sense. Of course, people are going to abuse that information. Oh, wow. Airbrain. So on one hand- Well, it wasn't what I thought at all, but it was something else. Yeah. So basically, if you think of PwC as an entity, a human entity, on the left hand, they're advising the government how to structure these things. On the right hand, they're telling the foreign companies how to to evade it. It is badass. I love when that stuff gets exposed because it it shows the inherent corruption in the system. It, it, things, systems, there is corruption in every system. Mm-hmm. There is the potential for it. Where you, we don't know whether it's there or whether it's not there necessarily. On this occasion, it shows it's there. A lot of the times, they'd get away with it. People get yeah. away. People share information, and it never comes to light. Some, you know, you don't know how big the scale of it is, but it's. Well, it's got three paragraphs on their on their Wikipedia page, so that's it's a global company. Um, it's got offices everywhere. It's got um, a few controversies across the. Uh, you've got the issues section. You know how you know how um, we always joke that you just scroll to the bottom of someone's Wikipedia page. Yeah, great. What were you, Mother Teresa? Go yeah? straight well, to the dirty do? laundry section. Oh yeah, you took care of thousands of people. Blah blah blah. What does it say at the bottom? Con- yeah, all right, cool. She was a scumbag. You know what I mean? So Confirmed. did that with these guys. Scroll to the very bottom. Yeah, and the get? very bottom one is the recent one. It's the Australian tax leak scandal, which is pretty much going to be, um, which is pretty much going to be exactly what you said, only to provide a little bit more in saying that it was 144 redacted emails that were released by Labor Senator Deborah O'Neill, revealing the extent of the corruption. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> 